We found a winner. First things first. The winner of the of the sweepstakes. Uh, everybody sweepstakes? who came to I well I don't know it was a sweepstakes. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. It's a fucking raffle, dude. <laughs> no, it's not a raffle. Raffles are illegal. Raffles uh, are those uh, those potato chips, right? This is people who came to my birthday party they were given tickets. Uh, it's illegal. To win this prize basket, yeah, a raffle is illegal. Okay, we didn't it's do that. Not a then. raffle. It was a game for his party. But, um, so he wins this awesome party basket that's behind me. You can't see it. It's real fucking heavy. I'm not lifting it up again. But, uh, here, can this to Santos. <laughs> Santos, Santos, give me your ticket so okay. we can verify to the internet that, uh... All right. Because they... Christine Kerwin right. thinks we're lying. We're honest chaps. How dare you? I thought this yeah. was heavy. How dare you, madam? Put one arm yeah, you got here. That. You see that? I don't know if you guys can read that. Oh, wow. That's oh, my your, God. That's your ticket. 712279. Wow. Right there. So Jim puts this together. Cow. Jim put this together. He's the man. There's all kinds of great shit in there. But he's in Las Vegas, so... I don't know. We're doing it without him anyway because he said just do it, so we're just doing it. Got Popeye, you got, you got uh, Batman, you got Super Mario, Mario. Yeah, you got Joust, you got Yeah, there's, there's cool. lots of great, great games in there, and there's also lots of great games in Philly's Midway Arcade in Hawthorne. Ooh, that's Jeez. right. Nice. You ever been Little there? plug. You still haven't been there, right? I still have not been there. Oh, oh my it's God. a great place. It's a lot of fun. And there's a bar right downstairs. Yep, yeah, a good one. Well, that yeah. doesn't sell me but it would sell him more if there was a gym right downstairs not really i hate working out fucking old jacked sitting over there like benoit 
<laughs> Except I will not kill my children in the future. <laughs> I hope not. Mm-hmm. Speaking of killing, do you guys hear about the uh, the shooters? Shooters. Oh, oh Jersey City. City. Yeah, oh, that yeah. sucked. What the fuck? That was horrible. Uh, I had two. I have two old coworkers that work and or live in the city in Jersey City. So I messaged them really quickly yesterday and make sure that they're okay because you never know. And they're fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's a small world. I had a a friend, she's a teacher in Jersey City, and their classroom was on lockdown all day, and she said the procedures were very good. Everybody acted very professionally, but and the kids were very good, but it was still very scary. Of course. So, yeah. yeah. I can imagine. I haven't read much about what happened, though, and I know, what, six people The black Hebrew Israelites. That didn't. Yeah, that's no, 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 no. I think the Jews were the target of no, the guy. No, but the Black Hebrew Israelites are like this uh, organization. Oh like yeah, I've Far- heard of them. Louis Farrakhan and like all that bullshit. Um, <clears throat> I think you're mixing up two things. I don't. I think Louis Farrakhan is the nation of Islam. I don't know. I yeah, know yeah. this, uh, but well, who you're talking about is like a fringe radical group. It's this group of people that basically think that the, the people that we now call the Jewish people basically stole from, they stole being Jewish from like black people that lived in Israel before them. Okay. So they're the, the black Hebrew Israelites. How do you steal a uh, religion? I don't know. It's fucking incomprehensible <laughs> to me. They're basically like <laughs> black supremacists. Let me see. That's so All right, we're gonna... bizarre. Do you think I'm making this up? So, no, no, no. I don't think you're making I think that up. name's too specific for you to make up but on the fly. I yeah. want to know more about these black Israelites. Oh, actually, it comes right up. Black Israelites, Jersey City. Yeah, they're called, like, the black Hebrew Israelites or something like that. Like My God. They're, they're like a... No, they're God. They're not a... <laughs> they're not all apparently like that. Like, they say, like, it's, like, a fringe group of them. But they tend to be fucking very loud and, like... They start, remember the whole thing with the Native American kid, guy and the Yeah, kids? of course. Yeah, right, right. The guys that were yelling at those kids, you guys are a bunch of faggots and all those that shit. Those are the guys who did those that? Those are the same guys, like the guys from this, that same group of people. Interesting. Like, According okay. to the New York Times, wow. they've been labeled as a hate group, and they're known for inflammatory sidewalk ministers who employ provocative forms of the gospel. Yes. They say that their chosen ones are black, Native American, or Hispanic. And the attack on the kosher market, they they did an attack on a kosher market in Jersey City as well. That's, yes, that's what happened yesterday. That was yesterday at a kosher oh, market? Wow. Well, yeah. So, it's not part of mainstream Judaism. No, they're, they're a fringe group of, of, like, fucking black radicalists. Like, they're not, they yeah. have nothing to do with Jewish people at all. Yeah, they're just some weird extremist group. But that's strange that they kind of latched on to Judaism, of all things. I mean, if you know anything about Judaism, you know, it's diverse, but at the same time, it's like... Actually, think there's of, an Think of the richest people in the world, and then think yeah. of if you said, my ancestors were there first. That's my shit. Like, who's, who's going to be able to prove any of that? But if that's right. your mindset, right. fucking, like... I don't know. I, that's anywhere. Like, shit happened as it happened. The chips f- fall as they lay. I don't know. However, that fucking saying goes. Chips mm-hmm. fall mm-hmm. where they may. Where yeah. they may. Whatever. Chips. Potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> Crumble <laughs> chips. But uh. Delicious. I, it, that's the way history worked out. It's like now it's up to us to just navigate how how it is. Like. We, there's, it's not like we're gonna one day yeah. go. You know what? I'm giving. We're we're they're giving this building to all the Native Americans. The whole town. We're giving it back to Lenny Lenape. They're moving back in. Um, they're gonna build. You know, knock down all the houses. Like, no, that's Wait, not the what? way. That's not the way it works. Like, first mm-hmm. of all, I don't think any Native Americans want us to knock down houses or anything like that. They just want like. I think they know, want their natural habitat back. No, they just don't want to be relegated to but you know, if most, substandard But if housing. most of them were all born here, isn't that their natural, ha- and that Not natural habitat? No, they, they had mystical fucking, like a, one guy could turn into a wolf. So are you saying that because we built things what? on, are you saying because we built houses on India, Indian burial, yes. burial grounds, they're going to want those Indian Indian burial grounds back? 
probably yeah, so. Yeah, well, that's what people <laughs> say. Like, oh, Poltergeist didn't have a social commentary. That was a great movie. It absolutely had a social yeah, commentary. Yeah, sure it did. did. Absolutely it did. Had a lot of social commentary. Yeah. Yeah, and then Steven Spielberg and George Lucas raped that girl to death, allegedly. What? What are you girl talking about? Poltergeist. Shut up. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. It's such an idiot. <laughs> now I think you're coming up with shit on the fly. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird uh, week, and then the yeah, next two week. weeks are fucking like holidays or three the weeks mm-hmm. after that. It's like we're yeah. we're two Wednesdays up, so I'm just gonna do uh, specials. We're gonna, gonna do specials. Be, it's gonna be special, guys. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm just something. Else. I'm just getting slammed at work, but I know I'm getting along. Like, I'm getting a long weekend next week, and then I'm taking, like, a whole week off between the holidays. That's the best when you can do that. I love that. That's a I wish. Thing. Yeah, no, everybody else at my job takes off. I'm the guy that I feel like is always there. Constantly. I hate being, like, the only guy yeah, in the office. Or only two people. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What is yeah, this? It's, it's, I'm usually one of the last people so in my office. I'm busy as right. fuck. Don't yeah. you feel like it's, like, a movie, like, where it's, like, what the fuck is going on here? Like... Everybody's been murdered yeah. by zombies or Pretty something? Pretty much. There's, there's been times where I've been, like, one of the only two people there, and my, the one guy I work with, Christian, he'll be like, he'll come over to my desk and we'll, like, shoot the shit. Um, cool. We'll be like, so, uh, do we think anybody's here? And he'll just stand up and he'll just go, ah! Like, <laughs> yell at the top of his lungs. <laughs> and if nobody gets up to say anything, not nah, we're alone. <laughs> <laughs> Some people love that because you or basically the, you can do whatever you want. Nobody gives a or shit. Or the light switch trick. You go up to one of the light switches and just turn it on and off, on and hey. off. See if anybody's like, oh. hey, I need that light for my computer screen. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I, I like that. when I'm shitting in the bathroom and my boss comes in. He's the only one that will shut off the light because he's the only one that thinks like, oh, I got paid no. for my bill. So he'll just shut the light. I'm like, hey, what are you uh, doing? Oh, sorry. And he turns it back. <laughs> Ours has an automatic light. Oh, so, so if you're, your so if you're sitting yeah, yeah. if you're sitting there on your phone long enough, not moving, the lights just turn off. You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Modern office. I've had that happen to me before. That is no fun. And that, <laughs> that's my old job, somebody turned off the lights in the men's room before they left and I was on the shitter. And I yelled, hey, and they didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to wipe my ass by, like, fucking screen light and figure it out. Like, 007 and shit. Ass wiping by candle. <laughs> <laughs> you have violins going along as well on that one? <laughs> One time I was hanging out at work and the, the fucking power happened to go out mm-hmm. in the warehouse. And I'm standing like kind of near my boss, like close enough that <laughs> he was like behind a wall, but then he walked in the door like, mm-hmm. did you touch the lights? And I'm like all the way on the other side of the room like, I'm all the way over here. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was, I was on the other side of the warehouse. So now I'm very concerned because it's dark. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. Like, what was I doing? Just fucking with the, the breaker? Like, yeah, fuck up the whole like a gremlin. One of my favorite bathroom stories, remember we had the earthquake in fucking New Jersey? It was like that. a few years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, it was like right. five years ago. Maybe. Yeah, my yeah. fucking, we, my, we were like driving somewhere. My ex-wife had to go to the bathroom. We stopped at the fucking Burger King. And she thought the toilet wasn't screwed down. She was like, the fucking thing was rocking when I was in there. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, it was broken. You should say something to the manager. It was a fucking earthquake. But you were in your car, so she you didn't really feel it. The toilet it. was like oh, fucking going like this. What, did you stay in the car? Yeah. Yeah, so you didn't feel that like I just shit. fucking pulled over. I'm like fucking around, whatever. Oh, man. No, I was in my office, and I just... Was, uh, we're up on the third floor in Newark. I was at Civil Rights at the time. Uh, <laughs> bless you. Hey. Browsing Reddit or something. I don't know. As you would do at work. <laughs> bless you. Good job enforcing civil rights, Paul. No, I couldn't always enforce civil rights. Sometimes the wor- I would run out of work. Literally run out of work. Because I would do Because you were all. afraid you are just All the out civil rights are okay. Everyone's fine. So the white I, guy. I don't need to put my costume on. Um, so the, was it, is it a white sheet or what, what is it? No. <laughs> You're like super rights, right? You got like uh, the white dude, outfit. I was, no, I was like fucking... I don't know. I was like the odd man out over there. Mm-hmm. In terms of like, I wasn't gay. Okay. I wasn't a person of color. Right. Um, 
So I was kind of just like... You were like the white trash demographic. They just wanted to cover all bases. Pretty much. And like, they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they... Not fighting the white trash demographic. <laughs> <laughs> no. You gotta At least you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, you gotta embrace the white trash demographic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that should be your campaign slogan. I made I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What did you make? <laughs> Put a beer in my hand. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Spitting in a jug. <laughs> oh please. And that T-shirt. What? It's Johnny Cash. I love it. Johnny Cash is the man. Give Johnny Cash finger. is the man. You don't talk shit about Johnny Cash. I have a guitar I'm just that's, saying rigged, it fits. that's rigged to break to hit somebody. Can I hit you with it? Sure, go ahead. Remember Jake the Snake and, and Honky Tonk Man? It wasn't rigged. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man just fucking whacked him. You're a real guitar hit break. The one, the one wrestler now, Elias, he does that stuff too. Oh, really? Yeah. Elias. Did you guys see the Ghostbusters trailer? I did. I did. Hmm. I haven't seen it actually. I have to see fuck it. Fuck Santos. What have you been doing? Ugh. It's kind of Stranger Going Thingsified. Pretty much because there's a Stranger Kid. There's a Stranger Things kid in it. Yeah. But uh, I think it is kind of interesting. They're not going the reboot route, which is cool. Yeah. And it's finally. they're making it sort of like a, a sequel. But I think if it does well, they're trying to get like a franchise out of these kids becoming the Ghostbusters of the future. Oh, that's so, interesting. So, keep future that property, movies keep them as they get older. They could do more and more. Keep uh, that property paying off. Paul Rudd never ages, yeah. so he'll just. Be <laughs> I love Paul Rudd. Mm -hmm. Paul Rudd's like he's one of my favorite actors. Yeah, he's a good actor. No, I'm excited for it. Like I keep seeing weird like reactions <laughs> online. They're like, "Where's the original cast?" It's like. <laughs> They're in a fucking home somewhere. Like one of them's dead, and the rest are yep. just in a home waiting to die. Like, what do you think they're fucking doing? Not Bill Murray. He's walking around. Well, He's making jokes. The thing yeah. is, you can't you can't make everyone happy because when the 2016 one came out, which I've yet to watch, but I hear no, it not good no, things about it. It made no one happy. It made no one happy because mm. where's the original cast, and you're just making it too much like the original, but with women. No, like, okay. The whole thing to me was that it wasn't like the original at all. It was they try they tried to hit the beats, but the original had like a tone that's like when me and Phil decided to start a podcast, like we should start a podcast. Right. And it's like we were like drinking and like fucking and then we start a podcast and like mm -hmm. they seemed like normal people in a real world dealing yeah. with a problem mm -hmm. that was kinda out of the world, but the fucking the remake in twenty sixteen is like She's slapping fucking ghosts out of people. The tone is like, they're just trying to one-up each other with like shitty fucking memorable one-liners, but they're not memorable and they're not funny and it's not funny in the context of Ghostbusters. Like, mm. do that shit in fucking something else. What I hope from this one is that it actually is a comedy, like, like the original. Like, this one had a very serious tone to the trailer. That's true. Mm. And I want there to be... I don't want it to be a serious Ghostbusters movie because that's not what the Ghostbusters be, is. I don't think it's gonna be a serious Ghostbusters movie at all. I think they're a. Of First, course, the original cast is gonna be in it. Like, mm -hmm. like every everyone knows they're gonna be in it. Right? Most, they're probably like, gonna be towards the end. They're not gonna show them in the fucking trailer because they don't need to. You exactly. know they're gonna be in it. You know they're yeah, gonna mm -hmm. do something good. Bill Murray wouldn't do it if there wasn't something good to do in it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty There's sure good. it was already. It was already confirmed that at least two of them are going to well, show up. Three, all of them. It's been confirmed. confirmed. Three that are left, and Sigourney Weaver is doing it. Okay, good. So it's cool. like... They'll we know Rick Moranis isn't, because he's taking a break from, from know, acting for the past Rick 20 Moranis years. Rick Moranis might even fucking turn up. That'd be great if he did. I think if Rick Moranis turns up, it's going to be in like a post-credits sequence. Like one shot of Rick Moranis doing something. <laughs> like mm -hmm. I think there will be... I think we'll get 10 new seconds of Rick Moranis doing whatever the fuck it is. Like, even just watching it on the TV, like, oh, like, even if he's not in the sequels or anything, yeah. but, like, I, I feel like we're going to get Rick Moranis. I'm I really hope so. My I really hope so. I heard that he just retired to, like, race his kids. Yeah, like, he, didn't, he didn't ever want to act again. But like, you don't yeah, think I'm if done. Dan Aykroyd called him, hey, Rick. You want to do Ghostbusters 3? Ah. <laughs> like, fucking... <laughs> 
<laughs> very I good. Think very good. is kind of like you know I was a one trick pony and you know Ghostbusters was my high point. Like what am I doing after that? You know what I mean? I mean I shrunk the kids, man. That's yes. it. I'll I'm just saying, like it's McKenzie the same again. character. Little it's giants. Like, uh, let's not push it, Tom. <laughs> it's like Seinfeld. What is he gonna do now? I mean, you know, of course he's doing comedians in cars because there's nothing else he can do. No, he already yeah. did the show. It was very popular. He got all the awards. Now you're just waiting to die. It's like, what are you gonna do <laughs> once you hit the high water mark as an artist? You know, you know you're never gonna. Well, comedians you're never gonna write a novel show, better though. than that, or you're never gonna make a movie better than that. Who's, who's mm -hmm. farmhouse? Do you think that is in the Ghostbusters trailer? Egon's. Egon, right? That's what right. I think too. Yeah. They're, they're kind of making it as if that she's the granddaughter. Right, exactly. And the, the spores. It could be a red herring. Fungus. Fungus. No, I think it makes sense. Yeah, because he had mentioned that he, he collects spores and, and fungus. Yeah, right? fungus. and then they uh, cut yeah. to his uniform, too. In yeah, the right. Yeah. I think that kind of what happens is like there's like the, the containment unit there, and it broke. Because I noticed, too, the fucking. There's books stacked up. Yeah, uh, in the trailer, that's like the librarian ghost. Oh, okay. And like they're saying, there's all fucking weird seismic <laughs> activity, but there's no reason to have seismic activity. It's almost like the fucking they buried the, it there. All the ghosts from New York just kind of like busted out. <laughs> like I'm excited. Like that'll be cool. Like, yeah, they have oh, the yeah. fucking librarian. Because they showed the, uh, the the I can't remember the name of it. The dog. The, the yeah, the dog. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the fucking mine too. There's like a mine that they go to. That's uh, well, the, Xander. Whatever the guy's name yeah. was. Yeah, so I was reading up about that. It was, um, I don't remember the name of everything, but apparently the rocks that were mined uh, for that whole... That building. Yeah, for the building. Were from that mine. Were from that yeah. mine. So they're going to oh. go back to that mine. And there's going to be a lot of supernatural, size, uh, supernatural <laughs> activity. I'm excited. Cool. And I also think that fucking thing they're chasing around in the trailer... Is Slimer and they just didn't finish it yet. Uh, I'm, I'm almost betting dollars to donuts. Like that, that thing looks like Slimer except with no texture and no face on yeah. it. It's just like a fucking piece of shit flying around. Yeah. Mm. When you got a couple of kids that commandeered a fucking Echo One and shit like that, I was in for that. Yeah, because it's just like a bunch of kids having fun. I expected it to be Goonies kind right. of meets the Ghostbusters. Exactly. Like, based on what the casting... I looked at the casting list and shit, like, I casted all kids, like... Yeah. Have Have you seen Stranger Things? I watched the first season, I really liked it, and it's I a good couldn't show. finish any of the... I couldn't... I, I don't are you, time to watch you guys are both up to date? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, the second I don't care show, you can So, it I'm not going to spoil it, I just want to say what I love about that sort of thing. So, the thing about Stranger Things to me is... It's not. It, it's got the the supernatural story overlaid on top of the most realistic uh, acting of children in their natural mm. life. Yeah. So if you watch like the first, second, and third season, it's three. No, it's only. There's two. There's, there's two. Sorry. If you watch the first and second, the second <laughs> season is like they're all going through puberty. You know. Stranger Things. There's three. The three, the three, oh, right? Three. Yeah. Three seasons, yeah. Right? Oh, Third three, season, that's right. right. I'm sorry. Third right. season, they're all going through puberty, and you know, Ellen, like, they're having like a romantic relationship, but as as if you would in in middle school, and you know, the one the guy says something wrong, and the girls kind of like hate on him for it for a little bit. The whole thing of the, all their friendships, all the interactions, it's real. It feels like a real story and it feels like it's just you it's a documentary about kids that somehow hit well, that's what i liked about ghostbusters was that the same thing like it felt like it was yes. the og ghostbusters in a right. real world ghostbusters yeah. 2 yeah so but ghost but yeah the same kind of thing like i that's what i'm hoping from this new ghostbusters yeah. it's it's not like a overly exaggerated story as yeah. maybe the 2016 one was over exaggerated the idea of ghostbusters Whereas Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters didn't take itself too seriously. Ghostbusters 2016 tried being Ghostbusters, tried imitating Ghostbusters. Where I want this one to kind of just be like a realistic type reactions between all the people, yeah, overlaid with a story about ghosts, you know? Yeah, I think that you kind of like break it up so that you know. I mean, those stories are so you'll invest in the characters. So when crazy shit happens to them, you know, you're kind of on the edge of your seat, yeah. so it's important to... The director is 
is very into like character driven movies. That's and, good. And I don't think he ever thought he was gonna do a Ghostbusters movie mm -hmm. until he saw the fucking last one. It was like it can't end like this. <laughs> right, like, right. My father's fucking legacy, like yeah. was directing this movie. Oh like, yeah. This is like a huge thing. Doesn't Acro have a big part in it though? Like Acro um, wrote it. Ackroyd and Ramis, I think, wrote it. Yeah. And then they wanted to get Eddie Murphy to play, um, what's his name, to play Winston. And basically what ended up happening was they couldn't get Eddie Murphy. And they got Bill Murray to, to take his role. And he got most of what Winston's lines like would have been. Mm -hmm. Like the funny shit. Oh, okay. And so, like, that's why Ernie Hudson's, like, kind of like a minuscule. He's only in, like, the second half of the first movie. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they wrote that, and then the, they fucking did. That was, like, a huge success, and they did the cartoon. Right. And the cartoon mm -hmm. was, like, they, they kind of made it for kids. Right. But they changed, like, certain things, like Janine's hair in the sequel, like, looks like Janine in the cartoon. And, like, they tried to make it more, like, toyetic. That was when they started to, like, make movies, like, in the 80s. Right, right. To sell toys. For yeah, merchandising, yeah. Yeah, yeah the merchandising. Um, but I don't know, man. I, they did this other... They did the game, too. Remember right. the game? The uh, PS3 game? Of, yeah, I was going to say the recent yeah. one. Yeah, the, that was a good game. That was good. <laughs> like, it, it, they, they did all the voice acting. They had everybody back. Oh, wow. And... It was cool. It was like a good story. It was basically what they wanted Ghostbusters three to be, where they get like sucked into like a hell that's New York. Oh. And like that was what it, it was supposed to be called Ghostbusters in Hell. Cool. Or Ghostbusters movie originally, but now they that would be great. You know, Thirty years later, they come up with this other thing. Right, know? right. But it's I'm excited. It's like the the guy the, the director's son. Oh, yeah. is directing it and right. he's not a guy that does like sci-fi movies so I imagine mm -hmm. it will be more like a character yeah. movie but I think it'll still be funny too yeah probably yeah. I, I can't imagine it's gonna be like you know depressing the worst part about remakes to me are just like I said that it's trying to imitate the movie which is always an over exaggeration of what the original was. You can't create, recreate that chemistry. I feel like when you have an authentic piece of work, there's a certain chemistry that a piece has. Yeah, but you can still try and make an authentic version, an, an authentic remake without trying to exaggerate the original. The oh, ideas no. how, many, the original. how many good remakes are there, really? A lot. There's the yeah. thing, there's fucking. But horror is different, I think. It's not like, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not as well, invested. Well, no, but think about too. You got like the Magnificent Seven, and then um, yeah, the Seven Samurai. Like that was a, a remake of these Japanese. Is that movies. a remake though, or is that a retelling? And I it's, think those are two well, different it's things. Same, it's not really. It's though. the same. They got sued for it, so it's like it's, it's the really same story. It. Right. Yeah. I feel like you can take the same story and do it differently. That's not a remake though. A remake is you kind of try to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's like I the Ghostbusters the was kind of like the same thing. Not as no, not as the seven. I feel like ride. there wasn't seven Ghostbusters. It wasn't the seven. That's what I mean. It's like it's too much. It's too close to being. No, I'm saying the female Ghostbusters was oh, like oh oh that was a remake, right? That's that wasn't a retelling of the story. You didn't take the Ghostbusters well, was it a and put it in like or not, 2023. A statue of Harold Ramis in it. Yeah. So it's like, where does it fall in anything? Because, I mean, pretty much there's there's like 14 plots you could ever use in any story, right? And most of them come from fairy tales or Shakespeare or mythology and shit like that. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, the hero's journey, there's a million different ways to tell that well, And they also tell, like, three stories. Like, you got the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. Think of the first Ghostbusters movie. Mm-hmm. They all got the hero's journey. You got the, mm -hmm. the love story between. Right. That's like know, a subplot, but yeah. You got the other two guys that are like real fucking, just like hardcore into the, the whole, the whole thing. Right. Like their whole evolution. Like they're right. they're telling a couple mm -hmm. of stories there. Okay. Uh, no, it's like a movie There's that has like, I would say four main characters. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I think Sigourney but, Weaver would also be, like, 
I don't know, like, Ernie Hudson should be. He should have had a bigger role, I always thought. Like, I don't know, I would have just brought him in earlier. I don't see a reason not to. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I always loved him, too. Like, the shit that he says, I've seen shit that'll turn you white. Like, mm -hmm. his fucking... Mm -hmm. I don't know, I always thought he was gold in that. But it's still basically Moby Dick. I mean, it's just, you know, go and meet the monster where it is and fucking kill it, you know? That's... Jaws. Jaws. Jaws yeah. yeah, it's the same shit, you know? Cue the Richard Dreyfus impression. <laughs> <laughs> but do you not have it in you right now? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the perfect Richard Dreyfus thing to say. <laughs> I fingered a corpse! <laughs> I, I used two fingers in the vagina and one finger in the asshole. And I fingered a corpse! I think he actually said that. Uh, that's, that's an actual quote. Well, I made out with it. <laughs> with the corpse of the I anus. I licked uh, a cold titty. <laughs> During Mr. Holland's opus, I guess he probably said that, right? Mr. Holland's anus? <laughs> oh, I hated that fucking movie, but I had to watch it every year in school. Oh, oh man. It's, it's, a, awesome. it's a sore subject for me. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking dumb song he plays his wife, it just made me want to hang myself. <laughs> It's like his favorite role. I feel so bad if Richard Dreyfus is listening to the podcast right now. I, I bet you he is and crying. He's just got the gun in his mouth like, this is the time. This is the time! So is Richard Dreyfus Skeletor now? Yeah, that sounds basically. like Skeletor. I would love Richard Dreyfus to do the voice of Skeletor. Right? I think that would be the fucking greatest casting. Beast man! Beast man! <laughs> Why? Yeah, he does kind of sound like Skeletor. What about Bob? What about Bob? <laughs> Beast man! What about Bob? <laughs> Are they doing a Masters of the Universe remake? They're supposedly doing a Netflix thing, right? I believe so, yeah. That's the rumor. I don't know. I heard John Woo was supposed to direct a He-Man movie like years ago, and no I was sure. real psyched for that. Because I'll watch anything John Woo directs. Uh -huh. It's always mm. just a tour de force of doves flying yep. and dual-wielding guns <laughs> and just yeah. people switching faces yep. and just greatness. <laughs> Amazing crashes. Pretty sure, they're trying to, pretty sure they're trying to make face-off, too. Dude, I, no I think they are. They were talking about I don't think that. they should. No, I don't think uh, they should. I yeah, absolutely want to movie. see them remake face-off. Who would you cast? John Travolta. I would and cast Nick Cage. Now? Yes. Chris yeah, why not? And Chris Rock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do you want it to fail? <laughs> They don't even have to change your voice! They just yell all the whole time. <laughs> no, I want it to be like... Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Like Wait, whose mouth? My mouth. Is it your mouth? Andrew Dice Clay, I think, would be a great face-off. <laughs> that would be very No, I don't know. Face-off's like a... It's a, it was such a stupid concept in the 90s, but I think it was just carried by the absurdity of John Travolta and Nicolas Cage playing each other. Like, yeah. yeah. They, they get none of the fucking... Like mannerisms of each other down it just sounds it's like two people just switch roles midway through a mm -hmm. movie like I'm Castor Troy fucking that's all it is like the, yeah, it's, yeah. It, the first half of the movie is Nicolas Cage doing horrible but hilarious things like grabbing a choir girl's ass and going ah! <laughs> during like a choir he's like dressed as a priest I don't know what's going on then he makes out with his fucking sister Gina Gershon he does cocaine and then he switches faces with John Travolta and then, and then he gets John Travolta's face by just beating up the doctor and making him put it on him. It's great Hollywood writing. I need a face. This is a good face. Oh, my God. And suddenly, he just has a face like a St. Bernard. When, when like, and their body types totally change, yeah, too. Their body types are completely different. One of them is built like a beefy fucking... John Travolta's kind of like a meatball. Right. And Nicolas Cage is like an AIDS patient. Yeah, all yeah. thin, but fucking gangly. Yeah. It's kind of wiry, too. I, they change the voice with, like, a microchip. None of it makes any sense. Yeah, not, none of it does. If they remake it, I really hope they make it make sense. And the the then it's going to take away from the how absurd the original is. Yeah, right, exactly. Is. They, they can't really remake that. 
I can't imagine, like, who are they going to cast that? Uh, let me see exactly, because I remember reading about it, and then my brother also mentioned it to me, so... I just remember all the absurd crashes at the end of the movie with boats and all kinds of crap like that. Boats. They should do... Over the top. Planes, yeah, Black yeah. Black Arrow, I think was a John Woo movie. It might have been. There was, okay. like... There were so many, too, that came from giant Chow Young Fat was in them. Oh, mm. wow. Um, That's right. Eliminator and, like, a bunch of... They, they were like gun fu, like all these dudes were like trench coats and like the mate before the Matrix, all the shit that the Matrix guys stole, John Wu fucking did for like ten years. Like slow motion, mm. people firing two guns and fucking mm. all kinds of crazy shit. He was like an auteur of like gun violence. Mm. So September 9th, there's an article. Paramount Pictures is giving us facelift to face off, the 1997 John Wu directed action thriller. It starred John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. The studio will reboot the film with new cast. Oren Uziel has been set to write the script. And Neil Moritz will produce and David Permut, Permut will be ex <laughs> executive producer. Failures. Never heard of them. They should do Christopher Walken and Gary Busey. I would watch that. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> they're, they're, we're going to be voting for those two in the 2020 election the, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, yeah. they should do Stallone and Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> I will become him. <laughs> how, would you, how would Schwarzenegger talk like Stallone? That would be the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> like John Claude Van Damme should be in it as the scientist. Oh, I'll make you. I'll make you right. Ah. <laughs> I wouldn't do Predator. I didn't like Costa. I can't do a fucking John Claude Van Damme. Well, I just think I'm selling it. Like a confused European. Ah, da, da, da. I I do a uh, karate one time. Like, Guile. I love how they made him play the most American man of all time right. in the Street Fighter movie. He's Guile. He's supposed to be like the American man. I'm Guile. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a coke fueled fucking roller coaster ride through Brazil. Yeah, right. Oh, God, to be on the set of the Street Fighter movie. I wish. John Claude Van Damme is banging fucking, uh, what's her name? Cammy. Was it uh, really? Yeah, I forget that chick's name. She's famous though. She's like a pop star. She was hot. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was smoking hot. She was oh, in yeah. Biodome, one of my favorite. Oh yeah. Uh, who played M. Bison? Raul Julia. Oh yeah, that's right. Him, I'm, I'm uh, thinking of his face, but I can't think of what he's in. No, uh, Adam's Family. Yeah. Yep. The Adam's Family movie. Kisses the Spider Woman. Yes. Another one. He's a Gomez. Oh uh, right? yeah, that was Gomez. Yeah. 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 Okay. He that's he was I'm, in a lot of shit. I can't think of stuff that you would have seen him in besides the Adams Family movie, really, for the most part, and Street Fighter. Yeah. Uh, but he was like one of those dudes that, like, I don't know. He went till the day he died. Like, yeah. yeah. With that, like, he he Street Fighter was like his last movie. Like, it's a hell of a last movie. Yeah, really. <laughs> He was, like, smooth, you know? Yeah, very smooth. Dude, he made everything in that, like, look... Like, he actually looked threatening. Even at, like, yeah. 30 pounds lighter with chemotherapy, they put him in this fucking big suit and a hat, and, like, he was like... Mm. You know, just all, like, over the top. Yeah, yeah. Like, he always kind of reminded me of, like, Tim Curry. Like, those guys are, like, they're theater actors. Yeah, so yeah, very, absolutely. Rawr! Dramatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah super yeah. dramatic. Like, he was great, man. Hell yeah. My mom saw him on Broadway do uh, Dracula, I think. No shit. He was Back Dracula. I think he was Dracula. Years, yeah, like probably maybe the 70s or yeah, 80s. Yeah, no shit. Sure. I think he was maybe, but yeah. He would have been a good Dracula. Yes, he would have. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You'll never get a good Dracula movie ever again. Why do you say that? They could make a Nosferatu movie. It would be pretty good, I think. They I could... don't think they would make a Nosferatu movie. Like the, like, well, they made oh. one in the in the seventies and early eighties, and it wasn't as good as Klaus Kinski. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that was Klaus Kinski and Werner Herzog. Like, mm -hmm. and I think that I don't think that's a terrible take on those for too. I think it's too. It doesn't. I don't think it takes place in the eighties, right? But the thing, what I mean, I'm don't remember when it takes place. I think it takes place earlier, though. Actually, I think it's like, oh yeah, it's supposed to be like a remake of Nosferatu. The yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it. The reason I bring Nosferatu up is because. They do Dracula. We have so many vampire things now. Who's going to want to go see a movie about Dracula? You know? It's just... It, they're, you can't Dracula, the right actor. Wolfman. They, they remade Wolfman, like, what, four years ago or something like that? 
I used to love the Howling movies. No, those are good. Yeah, but I if think they, well, the original was. When's the last time you heard of Nosferatu? That's true. You know, actually, there's a show now, Nosferatu, on AMC. Oh. Oh, about Nosferatu today, like in or something uh, like that. Yeah, N O S four A two. I think it's like spelled Nosferatu. Yeah, like a license plate. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, uh, maybe he drives a cool car. I don't know, maybe it's like Knight Rider. Maybe it talks to him. I have no idea what the show's about, but I see it on uh, like Hulu Plus or whatever. Uh-huh. Like when I'm browsing through, like what the fuck is this? I skip past it because mm-hmm. it's not. It doesn't sound serious, then. It doesn't sound like it's a serious Nosferatu story. I, I don't think Dracula is is a scary concept to people. Like, I don't think it's intriguing anymore. I think the whole idea be. of... That's what I'm saying. You have to redo it. Over, we, over, mm. we overdid vampires. I think we overdid... Yeah, e- but even the whole... Like, you know what? I wanted to see, like, a new creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. We're getting a new Invisible Man. That looks cool. Okay, yeah, it does. That's good. It um, does. I saw the trailer. I wanted to get, like, a new... Like, any of those, you know? Mm-hmm. But I think about it, then, like, they were going to give it to Guillermo del Toro to do a new creature from the Black Lagoon. It's like, cool. Like, that's one of the most underutilized universal monsters. Heck yeah. Like, why not make that mm-hmm. movie? That, there's so much they could do with that. That would For be sure. awesome, especially with today's special effects. And Absolutely. Stuff. And, like, they fucked it up with Guillermo del Toro. For mm-hmm. whatever reason, he's mm-hmm. like, no, I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. So he made The Shape of Water, which right. basically, like, hit most of those points of, like, Wow, that's that would have been a cool creature from the Black Lagoon. You know, it would have probably been a little creepier. But right. Shape of Water was pretty creepy as it is. How was that movie? Yeah. I didn't see it. Great movie. That was cool. Yeah, yeah it's worth checking yeah. out. Um, but like, I I don't think you'll you're never gonna get like Frankenstein. Like, who's gonna play an iconic Frankenstein like fucking Boris Karloff yeah, did? They'll true. remake Young Frankenstein before they make Frankenstein. I hope, they never <laughs> I hope they don't. I'm just that. saying. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Uh, you don't think that like maybe they could make you know some like modern version where some genetic engineer guy takes a bunch of bodies and sews them together? Uh, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I guess it's, it's like kind one of those things. I would rather watch a movie that's super influenced by Frankenstein or okay. super influenced by any of the Universal monster movies. Sure, that has fucking nothing to do with them. That's just made by some people that fucking really love that and wanted to make like a modern take but universal i don't have any faith in them to fucking make it yeah. you know what i'm saying it's like they were the universal monster movies back when movies had heart yeah now they're just movies mm-hmm. that are owned they're properties that are right. owned by universal that you have to get a really trustworthy like group like uh blumhouse and put them under the universal like blanket. The guys, the Blumhouse guys, they did the new Halloween. They do all mm-hmm. kinds of fucking movies that are like I've never seen a Blumhouse movie. Where I'm like, oh, that totally sucked. Um, there, I would watch their take on anything. Mm-hmm. But it's like, how many movies mm-hmm. are they gonna make? You know, like yeah, it, true. They're not gonna become Full Moon where they just make everything and it sucks. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's I, I miss the Universal monsters and I want to see them back, but I don't think we'll ever get a take on them. As iconic as what it was. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't know. Everything yeah. has its time. There's probably that's new true. stuff we haven't even thought of that's coming. That's going to be great. Babadook. There you go. Yeah, like there's new new franchises. The Conjuring, Annabelle, like all oh, that yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Like they make new horror movies. For sure. Happy Death Day to you. I didn't see that. Was pretty cool. And yeah. I watched. Yeah, I watched both of those. That Happy Death Day looked really stupid. Was it actually good? You know what? It wasn't bad. It was. Yeah. It was fine. Like, yeah. It, I mean, I put it in the same kind of vein as like. Uh, it looked like a parody of movies like that. You ever see uh, the fuck is that movie with Ashton Kutcher where he's like butterfly butterfly effect? effect? It kind of reminded uh, me of that, and it kind of reminded me of Groundhog Day. Nah. It's like a horror Groundhog Day. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of uh, cool. Okay. She has to figure out who killed her. I think, right? Uh, yeah. She keeps dying, getting killed, but she can't ever see who did it. Oh, there's a, yeah, so a TV every- show on Netflix like that, uh, Russian Doll. Oh, really? Yeah, she keeps waking up in the same party, and she keeps dying in different ways, but each time she's alive, she finds a little bit more about the mystery that she needs to solve. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very good. Yeah, it was, mm. a, it was a cool flick. I would recommend watching it. It wasn't bad. Hmm. I don't know, the Blumhouse guys are good, man. They, 
they make all kinds of good shit. I I miss the the golden age though of horror when you had these yeah. like small companies. Anytime you had all small, everybody was like segmented. There nobody was communicating. Some, some just them. popped up on your what? Oh, I don't know. Oh no, something went wrong. Uh oh. Are we not live? It still looks like we're live on here. Can you still hear us, people? Do you see me waving my arms? <laughs> yeah. I'm Give me 15 seconds. Right. Fuck them. Fuck them? <laughs> yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're on. That's great. They can still hear us. Great. All right. I don't know what's going on. Right. There it goes. Yeah, it's back. Oh, Woo! Nice. Fuck them. <laughs> Turn the sound off on your phone now. <laughs> and what about the new Star Wars then? So what, that, what, what are some oh. theories that the fucking Emperor is all right, coming all right. back? So we know he's coming back. I've been ignoring every single TV spot. Mm -hmm. My brother like suckered me into watching the last trailer, and I wish I didn't because <laughs> I've been working so it. hard to not watch it. Really? Yeah. And he's like, oh, but I want to talk to you about it, but I want to talk you to you about it. You want to go in fresh, is that it? Yeah, because... Let's go in raw. Exactly, I want to go in raw. I want to go... <laughs> I want to squeeze raw. right into the new Star Wars, just completely raw dogging. Mm -hmm. um, raw dogging Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. And I'm super excited for it. And I, it's, it's the last Skywalker saga Star Wars. His and body went into a fucking reactor. How are they bringing this asshole back? What, is he immortal or something? Clones, man. Uh, it's theories that raise a clone uh, coming to, that comes from. So he put part of his consciousness into a clone or something like that. Well, we know that clones exist in the universe because. How do you know the rich. fucking emperor they killed wasn't a clone? That's Dude, interesting. Think about that. Like, but how yeah, that's what we know is the emperor, but maybe the real emperor was fucking just far off in the space. Like, who's to say? If you're shooting electricity out of your fingers, you're a fucking Sith, right? Yeah, but if you're a clone of the actual one. So would you still have the same powers if you're Why just not? a clone? I don't know. If you still have the connection to the Force. It's, it's like years of training to become a Sith Master. Yeah, but they we know clones exist. Right. So, who's to say that they didn't put all the money into getting the clones the correct way? I think it's going to be some kind of spiritual mumu jumbo where his like spirit was still out there and he somehow was so powerful he re constitute himself or something. But there are like theories that Ray is actually part uh, Palpatine because of a clone. Like, Ooh, like shit. a sliced clone. That's fucked up. Kind of like Superboy is, is Lex Luthor and, and, and Superman. Yeah, oh, that's, that's where true. Superboy comes from. I never knew that. I yeah. just thought he was like some other asshole that fell from Krypton. <laughs> like, just never grew up. I no, he a was, child. No, Superboy was a clone made out of uh, genes from Lex Luthor and Superman. Oh, I never knew that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So he's super smart and super strong. Is that it? Pretty much. He's he's half human, half Kryptonian. But does hmm. he have hair? He does. Does he talk like Gene Hackman? No. <laughs> I'm Superman! So basically he has like the rage issues of Lex Luthor with the common decency of... Was that canon man? like in the show too? There was like a Superboy show that was Superboy? on back in the day. Yeah, I never watched when I was that a kid. one. I don't know if that was But that's been canon for, uh, for pretty much ever. For oh, I gotta check that out. I'm huh. curious to see about the Superboy show. Because it was like when I was a kid it was on. Like in the 80s, maybe 89. I remember that, actually. Yeah, remember that, yeah. there was a Superboy show and then like a Supergirl movie at some point, mm -hmm. and then they kind of burned out after that for a while until yeah. Lois and Clark and Superman Returns. Right. I heard he's back, too. Superman Returns? He's in the DC shows. There's a new DC thing where they're... So all the DC shows every year do a crossover event for mm -hmm. like the mid-season. So this year they're doing the Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, storyline. Yeah. So, they're going to the Anti Monitor and the Monitor are coming. They're trying to destroy all the universes to make their own. Well, the Anti Monitor is trying to destroy all the universes to make his own universe that he can control, basically. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to destroy all the Earths. So there's Earth 36 where Supergirl takes place. The, the TV show Supergirl takes place. Mm -hmm. There's Earth One where um, Flash and Arrow takes place, and okay. uh, there's Earth. Uh, I don't remember what the Earth is for Black Lightning, but Black Lightning is oh, in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. But also, 
they brought back in the beginning of the first episode of Crisis. They showed the the reporter from uh, the '89 Batman movie, and oh, they played okay. the Batman music, and they showed the the. So that's the the uh, Earth eighty, and then Earth ninety is the Earth that takes place from the flat the '90s Flash TV show. Oh shit! Oh, so John Wesley's ship is in so there with his muscles. John suit. Wesley's yeah, <laughs> he plays he plays Barry's father. In Flash, yeah, right. And he plays Flash. He plays uh, the Flash with the the metal hat from another universe, mm. from Earth Two. And then he also plays the '90s Flash in oh, cool. the universe. So he's got the the suit on and everything, the original suit and shit. Nice. Um, That's cool. And then they brought back uh, Tom Wellings from Smallville. They put him into the into the show. So all of those characters are coming together for a crossover show. Yep. That's mad cool. Yeah, and. Uh, mm. So, uh, the guy that played Superman in Superman Returns, he's an actor on Legends of Tomorrow. He plays the Atom. Oh, I he like plays Ray Legends Palmer. of Tomorrow. That's a great show. So That's actually they, my favorite DC show. Oh, it's so good. But they brought him back to play Superman from mm. an alternate universe. That makes sense. And they're, they're doing the, uh, the, um, the Red Sun. Uh, the Russian Superman? No, no, not Red Sun. <laughs> uh, no, it's like the... Cl- I forget the what last... they call that. The Last Son of Krypton. Something like that. The Last Son of Krypton is not the one. That no, is, that is the that Russian one. the black fucking... The black and the S, right? Yeah. I forget what it's called, that Superman, but it's... Yeah, but it's 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 the one where uh, the Joker kills everyone in the... In, in the uh, Daily Globe. Okay. Daily Planet, I mean. Yeah. So, that... He plays that Superman. Did they bring Kevin Conroy... They brought Kevin Conroy to play they show him. a Batman, yeah. Nice. Oh, God. A Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, yeah. But uh, there's, the there's a little twist to that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, these, it, they did the first three episodes so far. Yeah. And they've been building up to it all season. They've been building up for it in Flash for a few seasons now. There was a newspaper article saying the Flash goes missing in crisis. Mm. And it had like a year that was like 2023 in it. Oh, wow. And then after the la- after last year's season premiere, mm-hmm. they showed the 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 uh, the newspaper article, and they showed the the date get pushed back to December of 2019. Oh, oh wow! So the events that happened in Flash moved up the crisis. <clears throat> uh, so they've been working up to the crisis mm-hmm. in all the of crisis the TV on shows. Infinite Earths. Yeah, <laughs> in all of the TV shows, which is cool. It's it's basically. <clears throat> They made all. They pretty much made all of the old movies and TV shows canon in this universe. Mm-hmm. They even made Titan, the TV show Titans canon in it. Oh no shit! Yeah, that's pretty so, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for reruns of the Gong Show to come back. <laughs> they even made uh, Birds of Prey, the, the TV show Birds of Prey. Yeah, they, they made that canon. Broads back. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Most of it was just like quick things, like quick scenes, just mm-hmm. to have them play their old characters again. That's cool. Yeah. But cool. Wesley, Wesley, uh, he plays a big part in. Flash altogether. He's in, awesome. he's in every season. Nice. That's mm. cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, man. I cool. gotta check that out. That's like, I haven't watched any of those shows ever. But it's I'm, a lot to I'm, watch. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm intrigued by the whole... Like, just to see, like, Burt Ward fucking wow. Robin is supposed to be back. Like, yeah, he mm-hmm. just did a quick scene in the first episode. Yeah, that's I'll watch that's, that. that's Earth 66. Yeah, I'll watch um, that. Like, he's no, sorry, Earth 60. He's hilarious to me, like, Burt Ward. And, like, mm-hmm. Just all that whole thing. I don't know, I'm really psyched too that the new Batman movie supposedly takes influence a lot from the 60s show. Like, okay, I hope that's cool. Good They're not going to do it, but I just want I want the black and yellow symbol. But they won't do it. They won't fucking do it. You don't think so? No. Why? It's too corny for nowadays, I think. People they can are... make a cool take on it. There Maybe. have been cool well, versions. Whole, it had a purpose. The whole point of it was that he, he was super armored on his chest and it gave his enemies something to shoot at straight in the chest it was like a fucking target because mm-hmm. if they shoot him in the head he's fucked uh. so it was <laughs> but he had tons of Kevlar so that was the whole point was that it was supposed to be the thing you saw and fucking tried to shoot a gun at hmm. so he would walk towards you and take it and beat the life out of you mm-hmm. right yeah but like they made it this black fucking bat that's like the size of like his whole chest now or whatever to so help like him. there's there's the OG gray with the black and the the yellow, that's like my all-time favorite. Right. And then they did like the, the 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 smaller black bat yep. on the gray, right. which like gray on black to me is 
It's stupid. I love I love that version, but like it's kind of two tone. Or yeah, and then when they did the, the bat fleck, the costume was awesome, but I don't like the Batman. That's the Batman Return symbol. The the, the comic uh, book Batman Returns. It's just a big fat ass bat symbol on his chest, mm -hmm. and I never really I never liked that because I was like the smaller symbol that actually looks like a the the rounded out bat. I always thought it was crazy that his belt was bright yellow too. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an odd choice for a belt. Well, they needed to make it a comic booky. Yeah. Well, yeah. You have to see some kind. Of, like it's important to the story. Like, yeah. You know, things that, you know. I don't know. I I'm excited, man. I, I'm psyched that like Robert Pattinson's like kind of like an unproven. Like he just made Twilight. Everyone hated him for it. Yeah. And then he made a bunch of like art house movies. Mm -hmm. No one gave a shit. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna play Batman. It sounds perfect to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm it off. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna judge because. Ben Affleck did an awesome job as Bruce Wayne in yeah. Batman. I think so. I thought he was good, too. And yeah. Heath Ledger, everyone's like, oh, Brokeback Mountain, that guy's going to play the Joker. Yeah, remember that? Fuck, knocked it out of the fucking Oh, yeah, that's but, true. Dude, that's what everybody said about Michael Keaton. Yeah. Like, back in that's the true. 80s. And he's, yeah. and he's yeah. one of the best Batmans, you know? Yep. One of the most iconic Batmans. Yeah. I think the darker the Batman is, the better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you think he's going to turn up in a crisis? Probably not. If they do, that would maybe be in a, a newspaper huge, or something. But there, that would be a huge. They fun. should do a yeah, fucking well. Batman Beyond movie with him as Bruce Wayne, that training oh, Terry McGinnis. Yeah, that would be fucking yeah, killer. That would be awesome. Mm. That would be killer. Like, there's no reason not to do. Who that. would you cast as Terry McGinnis besides yourself? Myself, <laughs> you know. For some reason, when you said that, Matt Bomer came to mind. Who the fuck is Matt? But I don't Bomer? think he's young enough anymore. Uh, did you ever watch uh, White Collar? He's 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 he's, 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 a, he's a pretty good actor. Okay. He's the main character of White Collar. Who's the guy who does uh, uh, Mr. Computer or whatever that Mr. show? Robot. Mr. Mr. Robot. Robot. He would be good. He played Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now Terry McGinnis has to be super white. <laughs> he's got to be like. He's got to be Irish. White. He's yeah. got to be skinny. He's got to be Irish. Yeah. He's got to be fucking. They should get Conor McGregor to play him. <laughs> I'm fucking Terry McGinnis. <laughs> Just beat the shit out of everybody. <laughs> so he totally missed. Maybe the guy from The Kingsman, <laughs> the kid from The Kingsman. Oh yeah, he might make a good. That's Terry a good McGinnis. one. That's a great Keanu one. Keanu Reeves. No. Looks <laughs> digitally de him. <laughs> Wasn't distracting at all. <laughs> and the Irishman. Well, how was it? Right. I didn't watch it. Yet. I hear good things though. I liked it. I was intrigued. But I will say, it is weird when you hear, like, old Al Pacino's voice coming out of, like, a digitally de-aged Al Pacino. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, and, like, yeah. old De Niro's whisker yeah, coming out yeah, of, like, De Niro that looks like he's fucking 30 years younger. Um, they did it a couple times. Pesci, too. It was super distracting. Yeah. There's another thing they didn't... I didn't understand. Did you guys watch it? I fell asleep like halfway yeah. through. Okay. There's points in the movie where De Niro keeps looking at the camera. And I'm like, this is the most... It takes me out of the movie. Like, yeah, exactly. Why does he keep doing this? I don't know. I, I, it, was, it had to be some kind of artistic direction, but it mm. drove me fucking nuts in the scene that it was happening. Was it like a fourth wall kind of thing, or is he just looking out he's, that way? And no, he's like looking, talking to a character, and then he stops talking, and he just turns to the camera. Really? And then, yeah, and it's like I guess I I don't I don't know what they're supposed to be conveying. I don't remember if the guy was supposed to be sitting across the table from him. <coughs> Whatever it was, it wasn't right. <laughs> it made me very ill at ease to feel like De Niro was watching me watching him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. Watching me, watching you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> Sweet wow. De Niro. I, I did karaoke. I got into a karaoke battle with a guy. Karaoke battle! I read Thanks that. for the invite. A, yeah, what, what's the story with I that? Was a spare a moment thing. Uh, I went over to Lee's one night, um. and I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'll go over to Lee's, we'll have some drinks, whatever, so I want a shrimp fried rice real bad. Okay. So we go over there. It's karaoke night. The guy with the, the fucking all studs on his hat and shit. Yeah, that guy. That guy, he's been there for like 30 years. Yeah. Uh, so I go off. I forget what the hell song I did first. Maybe Van Halen. 
dancing okay. in the streets or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, they're covered. Good choice. Yeah, and um, the, there was some dude that was like singing like all old shit. He was singing like uh, Tommy James and the Shondells and like... Oh, wow. Okay. Like the Frankie Valli. Like old, kind of like weird like 60s, 50s and 60s like pop songs. Mm-hmm. Like whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. He was all right. Um, but he, apparently he was like getting competitive with me. Like I would go up and sing and I'm just going up the fucking time. I'm not paying right, attention right, 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 right. to off. Of course. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I would go back and as soon as I like sat down he would like hop up and like fucking run over to the book and like find a song. <laughs> and then, then my girlfriend was watching him and like, she's like, yeah, that guy's fucking watch. And then he called me out. He's like, oh, come on. Right, he, he kept calling oh, come me. On. He kept calling me Ziggy Stardust. He's like, hey, Ziggy Stardust, you like this song? Like, fucking <laughs> talking shit to me. That's lame. Oh my god, it was karaoke. You know, but it's like, ah, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't want to take a moment away from like some like sixty year old guy that's like there on a date with like mm-hmm. like a fifty year old girl. Like, oh, like, this one's gonna be the one. You know, I don't know what the situation is. She's got all her own teeth, and she's like checking me out. Well, I'm singing fucking Rocky Horror up there. I did Sweet Transvestite. I did Sweet Transvestite and sang it to a guy that couldn't have been less enthused. He was just coming back to me. I was great. Last, the only time, apparently these Hawaiian is like my grandmother's favorite place. Oh, really? And I don't remember ever going there. Apparently I have. But we re- I recently, like last year or two years ago, went with... Um, I got invited out to go for one of Alan's friends' uh, like birthday parties or whatever, Bir- birthday dinner. And I was kind of feeling like shit already, like nauseous and stuff. But I'm like, all right, fuck it, you know, I'll go. I'll get some soup there or something. I don't know, make me make you feel better. So, sit down. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready to do karaoke. Like I, I'm so ready. So I go up. I do. Uh, I do a song. Everyone claps. I, I think I did a. Uh, uh, Italian restaurant by Billy Joel. Joel. Nice. And then Fine choice. I sat down, I ordered my soup, started eating it, and I'm like, this thing is fucking gross. This tastes like they had just cleaned it with Lysol, oh. didn't rinse it out, oh. put the broth in immediately. Oh. So I'm eating it, and this is just fucking gross, man. Huh? And time's going on, time's going on, I'm just getting like sicker and sicker, and the only time that I feel better is when I'm singing up on the stage. So I kept going back up, kept going back up, kept going back up, and I felt good, I felt good. And then uh, Alan, and, Alan and Ashley, my sister-in-law, they were in the city at the time, so they came late. And uh, so I, I kept saying to Alan, like, oh, we gotta, we gotta go up there and do some songs. So we did a song together, went back down. <clears throat> and then we get up to do uh, In the End by, Link- by Lincoln Park. Uh-huh. So nice. we're up there, we're doing In the End, and it gets to the part where I'm just like, all right, I'm going to puke. So I, I just put down the mic and I dart into the bathroom. Boom! Oh, wow. <laughs> All over there. Damn. That, I, yeah. I haven't thrown up that much in probably like 15 years. <laughs> that was real bad. I will say the Leaves of Hawaiian Islander, great cocktails, terrible food. I, I don't eat the food there anymore. See, I, like I just the get food. the cocktails. The food is actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. I, like it. I have one bad experience. I have one experience and it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's one of those things, like, I never, it was never a food place for me, but it's like, ah, if I need shrimp fried rice and I can sing karaoke, and it's like, I well, think mm-hmm. shrimp fried rice is pretty easy, I don't think oh, it was Yeah, it is, but, that. like, sometimes I want a night out, and, like, mm-hmm. that's close, like, I can Uber mm-hmm. there for, like, five dollars if yeah. I want. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, fuck it, I'll just go there and hang out, mm-hmm. bust the locals' balls. Nice. <laughs> and the... They, they'll fuck you, though, with the drinks, too. Like, mm-hmm. they'll just add shit to your bill that they didn't bring to the table. Like, they're fucking kind of shysters. You gotta yeah, watch them. Yeah, they're shady. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're shady. You gotta keep an eye on them. <laughs> the brown eye. Here we got that note. Who's your asshole? Uh, uh, my brown asshole eye. of the week is uh, whoever dumped a body in front of the liquor store oh, on the street God. from my house. Yeah. That so was fun. Why did you do that? Really? <laughs> that happened? It happened. Did Belleville, you see the news right? today? Yeah, Belleville Avenue. <laughs> it's like there's a nice little Vietnamese restaurant there. There's a nice little liquor store. And apparently... That's a, where the Asian market is, too, right? That's where the, the East-West is. East-West market, yeah. I love that place. That's a great Dollar place. Video used to be there. 
I guess the Chinese triads are sending a message or something. You think it's the triads? I don't know who the fuck it is. You better not no, say that. Yeah. They're going to be looking for you. And look for me? Uh, yeah. A man Some with guy a with a butterfly beard. knife or something? But yeah. I don't think so. The triads are going to... I heard they're looking for you. I'll now. take them out. You're okay. going to be the next dead body on the Probably. doorstep. Probably. You're going to be cutting triads, motherfucker. <laughs> no, it was in the dumpster. <laughs> There was I, I kind of figured when I saw that, ah, it's probably just a homeless guy who's taking a nap and somebody dumped garbage on him and he suffocated. But um, the article said somebody dumped a body in there, so yeah, I don't I'm know a what the situation detective was. And I don't care. So <laughs> could be <laughs> could be anything. The terrible detective could be Where murder. Could be two guys who were drug addicts and one guy overdosed. The other guy didn't want to get blamed for it. Popped his friend yeah, in the exactly. dumpster. Mm -hmm. You never know. That fucker in there. That's, yeah. I always put him in the clothes bin. Right. Um, Shoot. Salvation Army, yeah. <laughs> they take the meat. <laughs> take the clothes right off the body. <laughs> Leave the body in there. <laughs> they appreciate the donation. Sir, why is the donation bag human shaped? Never mind. Oh, oh this isn't where you donate organs? <laughs> uh, well, I guess you take the head and you play uh, dodgeball with it. Just uh, yeah, there you go. Full circle. Who full else? circle. Anybody else have an asshole or a hero? Uh, of the week? Hero of the week? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to give a hero of the week to Jim for actually putting this package Jim. together. Jim! Because this is pretty, you know, this is pretty involved. He's Out in Las of... Vegas. With a new yeah. cowboy hat. That's right. He looks like Earl or something. It looks like he's doing some sort of crossover episode. Or he's doing some sort of episode where he like meets his twin brother. And his name is Earl and he wears a cowboy hat. And he's like, yee yeah, right? Cowboy Jim. Can you remember Cowboy Jim? Can you imagine that? No, but that would be awesome. Is that who we're going to get next week? I hope Jim comes in with, like, fucking stirrups. Spurs. <laughs> Where do I put my saddle? <laughs> I can't leave it on the horse. He gets tired. <laughs> it's really like a beard. Right? He's yeah, like, I grew a mustache. <laughs> Walking around with a lasso go. A lasso. Oh, my God. Got a cowboy hat, my cock grew 12 inches. <laughs> now I'm getting a full. Four and a half, 150. <laughs> uh, what about you, sir? My asshole of the week actually happened today. Oh, as wow. I was coming home uh, from work, coming here from work. Uh, there was this pickup truck in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. And he kind of went two, uh, two lanes to the left. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay, he's going that way. I'm going to go, I'm going to like go a little faster. So I go to merge on to get onto the parkway on from 70 or 78, sorry, and uh, no blinkers. Fucker just decides that oh I'm gonna go back oh. all the way across four lanes. Oh. What the fuck? That sucks. That's Don't awesome, do that. Man. He's got like a fucking ladder sticking out from his car. Jesus, the first wonderful. thing I think of is final destination. The ladder's gonna come smash me in the oh. face. <laughs> He's got a death wish, man. And it's not oh, like man. so. There's the two lanes to get ones the. The left one's to go north and the right one's to go south. I'm on the north one. He goes straight to the south one. Like, cuts everyone off. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. People are fucking nuts, man. Just don't be an yeah. asshole. Welcome to New Jersey. I yeah. met my asshole of the week and my hero of the week in the same 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, Looks in I, the mirror? Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I, uh, no, I, this, I, my, my service engine light soon came on. Oh, yeah. Um. So I fucking took it to the to the guy. It was yeah. after I got gas too. I'm like, this dumbass probably didn't put the cap on tight enough. Right. Sure enough, that's what it was. So that guy was my hero of the week because mm -hmm. I was just imagining the possible things it could have been mm -hmm. in my head, mm -hmm. totaling it up, and realizing I cannot afford it. <laughs> um, and my my ass little week is I left that place. I drive down the street. I'm right fucking ready to go over the bridge, and there's it's a two lane street. And the guy pulls up to the left of me with his blinker on to go right. I'm like, ah, he's going to jump in front of me, whatever. It's like snowy. I'm not going to fuck it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right. Um, so I'm like, okay. So I go to fucking go forward, and then I slam on my brakes because this asshole, he's not getting in front of me. He's making a fucking right turn oh, from oh the my, left lane. Oh, oh my man. God. Wow. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. Shit. You don't do that. No. <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, my God. Like, I, I could see, like, okay, if he wanted to get, he, if he came out of the bank or came out of my apartment building, whatever, he's got to get over. You don't want to go on 21. Right. Fine, I'll let him in. But what the fuck? That's just shit. That's Jerk ridiculous. off. Yeah. Jerk off. That's stupid. Jerk off. I think on that note, 
we are gonna get to Steppen. To Le- Steppenwolf. Okay. Ste- nice. <laughs> Our magic Later, people. Ride. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you for coming. Santa. Yeah. Thank you so much for winning. Yeah. Thank That's you nice. very much. Thank you Good very much. Good job with for the winning. winning. I am so pleased that uh, <clears throat> we no longer have this in my house. <laughs> uh, it would be so much more peaceful here. <laughs> so enjoy enjoy your joust. Yeah. Uh, yes. Joust. joust. Come on. Yes. And the Popeye. Atari. Guys. That's right. we we nice Batman you. card. Love you all. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye. 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 We Stay hope you all. enjoyed our enjoy presentation all. of Cult of Contempt podcast. If you have any questions or comments or want to hear your band on the show, just write us at Cult of Contempt podcast at gmail.com. If you'd like to see back episodes of the show, youtube.com backslash plan 10 studios, cult of contempt.org, or right here on Facebook, cult of contempt network. Even check us out on Instagram at cult of contempt podcast. You want to reach Paul? It's at Paul Mauld on Twitter and Instagram and Paul of the living dead on facebook.com. Phil Perry, the writer on Instagram and his Facebook fan page at Phil Perry, the writer. I'm Jim Cook at Jim Cook on Facebook or Jim Cook Voice Actor on Facebook. You want to get a hold of me directly, jcookvoice at yahoo.com. On behalf of Paul and Phil, I want to thank you for listening. We'll see you next week at 8.15. I'm Jim Cook. Transmission out. Stay by for contact. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of Cult of Contempt podcast. If you have any questions or comments or want to hear your band on the show, just write us at cultofcontemptpodcast at gmail.com. If you'd like to see back.